I assume you've seen little cases like this, haven't you? Yes, I have. What are they use it for, Stacy? Well, they pack stuff like calculators in it. Yeah. Why? Well, I guess it's so they don't get damaged. Yes. Also, it's very lightweight, so they can mm -hmm. ship and they don't have as much shipping charges. Have you ever taken a close look at it, though? No, I haven't. Well, here, take look at the top. What do you see? Well, little circles. Yes, little circles. But they're not really circles. Well, they're circles because they're a flat surface up mm here. -hmm. But if you ever break one apart, you'll see what they're really made of. Look. Oh, the little spheres. Yes, little tiny spheres. Now, notice the size of the size of the spheres. Mm -hmm. Because when they start out, they're this size. Oh. Very, very small. And what the manufacturer does is he gets a mold made out of steel or iron or something like this, and he puts these little tiny balls in there, then he heat it up and they expand and fill up all oh, the little spots, great. and you can make it in any shape you want, as long as you have a mold. Mm -hmm. So that's what you and I are going to do. We're going to make a fish <laughs> okay. out of styrofoam. So give me two of these, there's a spoon right there, and put two teaspoons in the fish mold. And then because that's a goldfish, we'll add some of the yellow. How many? Well, I'll put in one, just for a sort of color. Okay. Doesn't even fill it up. No, it's certainly not. In fact, I want you to note how much is in there. It's not even filling the half of it up. No, it so doesn't. So what we have to do now is, in effect, put those two halves together. Would you hold that? Uh-huh. Because they're going to expand and create a lot of pressure. So I want to wire them together like this so they won't come apart. Okay. Okay, now I'll give it a couple of extra twists here. And then over on the stove, I have a pot of boiling water. That's how we're going to expand them with some heat. Okay. So there's a tongs right there, see it? Yep. Okay, take the fish and put them in the boiling water. Now let's do the same thing, but this time in a, in a beaker like this so we can see sort of the expansion. Okay. So put in... Uh, one teaspoon of orange, one of blue. Whoops, moved it out of your way. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I'm going to move this over there and four of white. Okay. Okay, and I'll stir those up. But just shake it, you know, just, I just want to make sure they're all sort of mixed up. And now I want you to notice the volume. How, what is it? It doesn't even reach the first mark, so it's about 25 or about 30. About 25 cc's. Okay. okay, here's some water. How much water? Um, uh, just over 60. Okay, pour it in there. Okay, now we're going to heat that up faster by doing it in the microwave. You know how to heat something in the microwave. Yes, I do. Okay, put it in there, put it for about three minutes or so. All right. And then bring the fish over, will you? Okay. It didn't take very long. Here's some nice cold water. We cool it off. You want to dunk it under there a couple times to make sure. sure. <laughs> Turn it over. Is okay. It hot? Now let's take apart our mold and see what kind of a fish we've got. It's all yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> Really well. Yeah. Can you take it out of the other half too? Mm -hmm. There you go. A nice cold A lot fish. of orange, yeah. yeah a lot of, uh, more orange on that side because you put more on that side. Yeah, right? yeah. that's right. But anyway, I think you get the general idea of how they make a box like this by taking those tiny little beads and expanding them yes, into I do. whatever shape. Okay, there goes the microwave. So bring over the beaker. Okay. Oh, it's all over the bottom of the microwave. It's all right, let it spill. I'll clean it up later. <laughs> Went up too high, I couldn't get it out. Yeah. Sure, so how much did we start with? We started with about 25, and now it's way past 500. Yeah, so we expanded it. About, um, 
20. 20 times. Yeah. yeah. 20 times, and when the manufacturers do it under the right conditions, they can expand it as much as 40 times. That's so nice. anyway, now you get an idea how they make those little styrofoam boxes that you get with all that equipment because they take little tiny beads and expand them 10, 20, even 40 times. Like popcorn. Yes, like popcorn. 